I've had this question since the 80s, since I first started in the extension service. What about, what if, what if we kept the cows healthy and they could live an, an extra lactation? Because, uh, you know, in the data that I've looked at, a lactation three cow makes more than a lactation two cow, the same cow, and in the fourth lactation, she makes more, la more than the third lactation. So if a cow's healthy, she's going to make more milk than a first lactation cow. The topic I'm a specialist in is in fertility and dairy cows. We did a lot of research on the effect of metabolic diseases on fertility in the cow. And the main issue there is that the negative energy blends is influencing fertility a lot. So if we can improve uh, cow comfort, we can improve we can improve negative energy blends, we can improve dry matter intake and by this way avoid fertility problems. Can I start by saying dairy farmers have been superb in the job they've done to control mastitis over the last 40 years. We must celebrate that. But we probably have reached a number of barriers in the tools and technologies we've actually got. We have current limitations to antibiotics. Now, a lot of that comes from the fact in the past, we've only focused on the cow that got sick. So therefore we treated it with medicines. What we haven't done is to celebrate the cows that never get disease. And that's at least half the cows in our herd. So what we've been doing in my research team recently is focusing on the cows that are always healthy. What's different about them? And we've been able to compare their genetics or genetic resistance or susceptibility to, to mastitis, to clinical mastitis, and to find a genetic link. So we've actually got the ability to identify a genetic marker that may indicate some resistance to mastitis caused by Streptococcus uberus. The potential there is to be able to select bulls that carry that genetic marker and so confer resistance. And that's a totally novel tool. Cows standing on concrete, I mean, it's a, that's a huge issue because um, if, you think, if you think of me, I weigh 100 kilos and I'm wearing two size 11 shoes or US size 11 shoes or size 44 metric shoes and the difference in the weight per square centimeter between me and the seven or 800 kilo cow is about 15 times. So the cow is putting about 15 times more pressure per square centimeter on the bottom of her hooves standing on concrete. So the cows, the shorter time the cows can be standing on concrete, the better. Advice to the farmers we are currently giving uh, in Belgium also to, in order to increase fertility is that you, they should take care more of the genetics and more to look to the breeding values of the animals. Current recommendation is to use foot baths with copper sulfate or with formalin, and we know that there are problems with that. If the producer can get the cows, get the level of digital dermatitis in the cows to a low enough level, then I, I believe that the future will be some sort of automated foot washer activated as the cow walks through that will wash, wash the cow's feet. But, but the hygiene in the, in the walking lanes needs to be good also. So taking a cow with feet with caked up manure on there and washing her through, walking her through any kind of foot bath, whether it's copper sulfate or just soap and water, is not going to get the manure off. There is no doubt that calving difficulties influence fertility. Um, calving difficulties lead to abnormal vaginal discharge. This abnormal vaginal discharge is usually caused by, for example, endometritis vaginitis. And those diseases really uh, decrease fertility rates. So to, in order to avoid this, I think there are several uh, practical advices we can give to the farmer. Look to the, the bulls eh, that uh, use semen that they have smaller calves, especially in, when you inseminate heifers. Uh, no stress at the moment of calving, no stress for the farmer, no stress for the cows. And that's what I think are key factors there. We will always have to use antibiotics. They will always have a role in managing disease. What we have to do is not use the antibiotics unnecessarily. We have to be smart about it. And the biggest area where we'll have to be smart is in the use of dry cow antibiotics, the antibiotics we use at the end of lactation, which will always be necessary 
to cure the existing infection. But the problem we will actually face from society is not to use them in cows that are not infected for a preventative measure. And maybe that's where the genetics and other new alternative technologies will become even more effective.